Welcome to episode six, Familia. In today's episode, we are going to focus on the beautiful and amazing mural that you've probably already seen on the Instagram and on videos that I posted. But today we're gonna get a chance to talk to the artist and to also give you an idea of how the mural kind of came about. Uh, by the time you're watching this episode, the gym is already gonna be open to the public and you know we're ready to go. Uh, the gym is looking great. We're just tidying up some last minute things for the gym. But other than that, the gym is gonna be open by the time you watch this. And I'm very excited for y'all to get a perspective of how that the amazing mural from Lace and Found came about. So welcome to episode six. Lace and Found has been around now, I mean, uh, for three years. In January, it'll be three years. To date, we've probably got over 220 projects that we've done, and Daniel's here marks our 100th for 2020. So it's a special one, it's a good one, and we just enjoy doing what we do. The list of shout outs for myself goes a long way, but first and foremost, I like to thank my girlfriend, um, Ricky. Uh, she's been painting with me pretty much since the very first mural, and with her, we have such a system down that, I mean, for most other artists, I'm not gonna say most, because that's like a bite on people, but like, this would normally take about a week for most people. And um, with our system that we have down, I mean, this, is, this mural will take us two days. When you're doing something this massive, you want to get the proportions right, you want to get the sizes right, you want everything to just look as, as close as possible to your rendering that you give to the client. And so um, the doodle grid basically is just something, it's been around for years. Many people use it, some people use projectors, a lot of people use uh, the doodle grid. For us, the doodle grid works well with Procreate. You can take a picture of your letters and your doodle grid and then you overlay your image and you just lower the opacity so it's kind of see-through and you just you just go from there you start sketching and you know B goes to B and A goes to L and that's pretty much the entire process and once you got your sketch down then it's just referencing and just coloring and all that time that goes into it. I met Jay and Ricky I met them in Houston the gym that I was going to had an event where Jay and Ricky were doing a whole trailer, a paint job in one day, and I was blown away by what they did. They did like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was like for a smoothie trailer or something. And we just kind of hooked up and became friends. We went out for beers. Come to find out he lives here in Austin. Uh, so then we just kind of stayed in contact the last year or so. And I knew right from, the, right from the jump, when the idea came to me of wanting to start a gym, I knew I had to have him in here to do something. There was no questions, you know, as soon as we got the space, we started brainstorming ideas of what we were gonna do. And now we're here. Danny brought it to me over a year ago, I would say. We have a mutual friend, Edgar, out in uh, Houston, and he owns the uh, B-Fit gym out there. We just got talking, he said he was gonna open up a gym out here in Austin, and he said that he wanted me to do it. He finally got his location. Uh, we started going back and forth on ideas. He really told me what he wanted, and what he wanted was, this wasn't about the gym. It was more about like the community and what he wanted people to see and people to feel going up and down East Austin. So that's pretty much what this mural is built on. It's it's all community. It's having fun. You know, we got Nacho Libre. We got the, the Day of the Dead chick. We got the LA Fingers, you know, for Lyft, ATX. Tejas actually spelled in Spanish. Every element that we put into this had to do with the community. I'm, I'm pretty sure he'd agree that the, the gym came second to him supporting the community and, and that was something special for me as well. When we were designing, when I was coming up with ideas for the mural, I kept thinking about how much East Austin has changed. The amount of gentrification taking place in East Austin. I mean, East Austin physically looks different than what it did 10 years ago. I wanted the mural not to just be like this hardcore gym mural. Like I wanted it to be so much more than that. I wanted it to be about community. I wanted it to reflect struggle, unity, brotherhood, sisterhood, culture. Uh, but I think the most important thing for me is that I wanted to do a mural for the community. That concludes episode six. Uh, words really can't describe how grateful I am to be able to team up with Lace and Found and for them to, they knocked it out of the park, really. Uh, and also to, to provide something and give something to the Eastside community, which I love so much, means so much to me. So you don't even have to be a member to enjoy something that's beautiful. So I, you know, spread the word about it. Feel free to come down, take pictures, you know, make sure to tag the gym or tag whatever. It doesn't matter to me, but uh, thank you to everybody that was involved. Keep staying too, keep staying up to date. And as always, strength and community, community and strength.
Hi guys, this is episode five. Welcome to my gym. Ready for you guys to come see what's going on in the gym. It's gonna be great. Uh, hello, welcome to episode six. This is episode six. We're gonna talk about uh, the mural today. It's uh, outside. Uh, <laughs> it looks really good. Uh, you guys are gonna enjoy it. No. <laughs> Wait, I'm not finished. Welcome to episode six. In today's episode, we are today. Fuck. I really can't describe how grateful I am to uh, the team of. Get the corn out of my face. 